Hey everyone, welcome back to my chatty, sassy channel here on YouTube where we talk about all things luxury, be it luxury travel, luxury fashion, or life's luxuries in general. If any of that interests you, make sure to hit that red subscribe button down below as I'm really trying to get to 2,000 subscribers by the end of the year. We're not just talking about one of my favorite brands today, we're talking about one of my favorite bags. And that is going to be the Strathberry East West. And I'm actually going to be showing you guys and comparing all four versions of this bag. I'm going to be showing you the regular and the regular mini. I'm going to be showing you the soft and the soft mini, comparing and contrasting the various features, the various leathers, showing you guys what fits from the largest to the smallest, and giving you guys my overall thoughts on what I think each bag is best suited for and who that person might be if you're looking for one of these bags. So with that, let's get into it. So you can see all of the different styles behind me. We have moving from this way over here. The largest is going to be the East West Soft. We then move down a little bit into the East West Regular, getting a little bit smaller still with the East West Soft Mini. And then the smallest is going to be the East West Mini. Now this was done very intentionally by the brand. They specifically wanted to place the soft in between these two for the mini and then specifically chose to go bigger in order to give you a wider range of sizes and versatile uses for this bag so that you really get the size that best fits what it is that you want to be putting in a bag that you want to be wearing as a bag and I think that that was a really smart really thoughtful decision to make when I talk about materials and colors a little bit later you'll also sort of see on how that thought process worked out when I talk about the features in the regular versus is the soft style and I'm going to use the two mini versions right here in order to compare because the mini versions are just the shrunk down version of the regular so they have the exact same features. Now first off with all of these bags you are able to wear them on the shoulder or cross body but the way that those chains function is a little bit different. On the regular notice that this is fully chain on both parts versus on the soft style, it actually has a leather portion for part of the strap. Now, this was done, I think, intentionally because the East West is typically worn as a shoulder bag, whereas this bag, because it is a softer construction, is a lot more casual, and therefore I think they felt a lot more people would be wearing this one as a crossbody, particularly because it will mold to your body side a lot better. Now, on both sides, you have a little bit of pleating, but the pleating style is very different. This is very soft and molded. This is very thick and structured. When we go to actually open the bags, that is different as well. On the soft version, this is just magnets. So the bar actually lifts up and is attached already to the bag. And so it's just magnets that keep it closed. Inside of the bag, you have one big compartment and then one back slip pocket. With the regular version, however, the flap of the bag still comes out from underneath the bar. So that probably feels a little bit more secure than having just the magnets. There are also magnets on the bottom of this that help secure it once it is inside the bar. And then inside the bag, you have two compartments as well as that back slip pocket in it. So now let's look at what actually fits in these bags, moving from the biggest size down to the smallest. So I have an array of objects spread out here that I can show you guys what really fits inside these bags and what you have to take out as we move down in size. So the first thing that I'm going to slip in here is my cell phone. It actually does fit in the back slip pocket. It is the only size that that is the case. Next, I'm going to put in a notebook, a full size wallet, my Calvies and Bastias, my Compact, my ear pods, my lipstick, my car keys, and my house keys, my bag hook, my sunglasses, 
And we still have even more room in here. So I'm going to go ahead and add in my passport, my hair clip, my pocket knife, and my checkbook. If you had a mini pochette, it would totally fit inside of this bag. All of that fits in. Now, that being said, that has made this bag very, very heavy, but it's not bulging anywhere. All of that stuff actually legitimately fits inside of this bag. So let's move down to the East West, the original, the regular size now, and see what fits in there. So the first thing I'm going to put in is, of course, my cell phone. I'm going to follow that with the small wallet, which is the Louis Vuitton Victorine wallet, if anyone's wondering. My sunglasses, the Calvies and Bastia, my car keys and my house keys I'm going to slip into the back of the bag. Then I'm going to add my bag hook also here into the back my airpods and then i can slip the lipstick in i believe but at that point this bag is very 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 much full so as i close it the bag is now full so what was not able to fit between the east west soft and the east west my compact the small book the passport holder and checkbook, the hair clip, and the pocket knife, and that is everything. So these are the things that did not fit in the next size down. Let's move on now to the East West Soft Mini. Now on these two, while the height of the bag is not overly different and the length is not overly different, the width hugely hugely different so there's probably going to be quite a bit that's left out of the soft mini than what you might have initially thought so first things first the phone has to go in and the phone actually does fit in the back slip pocket of both versions of the soft now i'm going to slip in my small wallet my calvi my car keys and I think the small wallet in this one is just too big so I'm gonna go ahead and switch to a card holder to give me a bit more space to put some extras in I'm then going to slip in my Calvi my sunglasses and my bag hook and then it looks like I do actually have room to slip in that lipstick so for this bag we had to switch down from the small wallet to the card holder and we had to leave out the AirPods. Now, obviously, if you didn't have as many small leather goods or as many keys as I did, you might be able to fit the AirPods in, but for me, that just wasn't going to work. Now, for our final bag, the East West Mini. We have the cell phone, and while a cell phone would fit in this pocket, the structure of the bag just makes it very difficult. So my cell phone is in, my card holder goes in, maybe my card holder goes in then we need sunglasses car keys house keys and a lipstick so that is definitely all that is going to be fitting in that bag so what did i have to leave out the bastia and the calvi and the bag hook all right now that you guys have seen what fits in this bag let's talk about the materials that are used to construct it i'm going to go from the most options down to the least options the most options come in the regular size this is their original this is one of their most popular styles of bags and there is a reason for it it is my favorite bag and this is actually the bag that gets me the most compliments out of any of my bags in my collection so as you can see here, this is the mock croc version of the bag, and I think that it is absolutely stunning. I love Stratsberry's mock croc. I think they do mock croc better than anybody else on the market. 
Now, the one thing that I will say about the mock croc is that it is a stiffer version of the bag compared to the soft leather. So when you go to pull this flap out, there's a little bit more pulling that's involved. When you go to tuck it in, it's a little bit more finicky. This does loosen up a lot over time as you use it. When you first get it, it is super, super stiff. But the more that you use it and the more that you work the leather, the easier that it's going to be and the more that that's going to go away. But mock croc is not the only finish that they do. They also do it in the smooth leather, which is right here, which is very smooth. It still has a light grain to it, but overall very smooth looking leather. And I have a tricolor version, but they do solids, they do bicolors, they do tricolors. And they also have a new lizard finish. I don't actually have a lizard finish here to show you, thought I had ordered this one in a lizard. I didn't. I ordered it in the regular smooth leather. That's on me. And basically every color from every collection is going to be available in that bag. Now, the next down is going to be the mini. Again, this is the smooth leather here, which is absolutely beautiful. I think that this blush pink is a really, really stunning blush pink and it's a very very true blush pink it doesn't go orange it doesn't go yellow it's just a really lovely soft color but this also comes in mock croc as well as lizard finishes so you do have again options just not as many color options as you have in the larger size now you will see the least amount of options with these two these come in five different colors and they are done in the Moultrie's leather and this is actually more pebbled and has a wider grain on it. I don't know if my camera will pick it up or not. It has a much bigger grain on it than what the smooth leather does. Now I think that this is a gorgeous leather. It is a very very soft leather which is why they picked it for the softer style bag but just be aware of that that it is a bit more of a grained leather than what you would see on the normal Strathsbury bags. The other thing to note is that not every color is offered in both sizes here. I mentioned there were five colors per size size at the time that I'm making this video that's all that I'm aware of but there's one color that is only available in one size each for the mini that is going to be that it is available in a gorgeous absolutely breathtakingly stunning bottle green for the larger regular size east west soft this one is offered in a navy I'm currently holding it in the black and in the oat but that is something to be aware of is that if you are wanting green you have to go with the mini if you are wanting the navy you have to go with the regular now who are each of these bags for I'm able to carry the regular bag every day with my essentials. I think if you are looking at an everyday size bag and you carry essentials, not like the bare minimum typically going around in a mini bag essentials, but just like regular everyday personal essentials, I think that going with either the regular East West or the East West Soft Mini is going to be the best choice for you. These did have similar capacities, but the thing to note is which way do you, are you going to prefer to carry your bag? Do you prefer carrying a bag cross body? If so, go with the Soft Mini. It's going to mold a lot better to your body. If you prefer a shoulder bag or are open to carrying a shoulder bag that can go, I think, much more easily day to night, work to dinner, then I would recommend looking at the East West, the regular or original size. If you're wanting, however, a little bit more of a petite bag, a bag like more for just going to dinner, more for going to weddings, I would definitely go with the regular style mini right here. I think that it is beautiful, it is cute, it will fit your phone and a couple of pieces of makeup and your cards and if you're going to that type of event that's really all that you need. And it is very beautiful and charming and cute at the same time, very feminine and you have plenty of color options to choose from. If you are looking for something more like running out to the park, running, just popping into the grocery store, going to concerts in the summer, that I think is where the East West Soft Mini is really going to excel. The only bag of these that I would not consider, and it's not a fault against the bag, it more has to do with the bag compared to me, is going to be the East West Soft. That bag just feels too big on my body, whether it be shoulder strap or cross body. I don't really carry enough to fill that bag, and if I am, I'm going to be carrying quite a bit more that would weigh more than fill that bag. So I think on that one, it really comes down to if you are someone who is on the taller side, I think that this is a bag that would fit better on your body and therefore look 
look good no matter what it is that you're carrying in it. Or perhaps you are a parent, be it of a small human or of a small furry thing such as a dog and you need to carry some extra things with you like snacks or waters or wipes or things of that nature, then I think that once you need to start carrying more that it is a good option of a bag. It's just not an option that works for me. So I hope this video has been really informative for you. If you have any more questions, please leave them down below in the description and I'll be happy to answer them for you. With that, I hope you have a great rest of your day everyone. Bye!